Thank you. <laughs> tomorrow. 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 No. And welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for One Way to Tomorrow. A romantic story of two strangers who come across each other on a journey from Ankara to Izmir. So this film is directed by Ozan um, Okiten. I probably didn't do that justice, so I apologize for that. It's a Turkish film. It's set on a train and it's the journey of these two people that meet on the train uh, that are traveling to a destination which I don't want to tell you because of um, spoilers and there are some spoilers to be had if I told you like what they're actually doing there. So. These two strangers, they meet up and they share a cabin on a train. It's a 14 hour journey. And in amongst that journey time, you get to know these two characters. You get to know their the ins and outs of their past relationships, which is probably the real um, main focus of the storyline. You see that they are very broken people and that uh, what they're going through now, they share those experiences with each other. And that's where the film really takes place, what really concentrates on Ali and Leia and for the most part they do hold your attention when you have a film like this that is very small in budgets very um, small in locations I think there's just a few setups uh, the majority of this film takes place in this carriage they move occasionally to have a go have a drink and sometimes the train stops and there is a, an event or something that happens to move the story and plot along at various a uh, couple of other locations but for the majority of the film they're in this they're in this cabin and so you need two characters that can hold your attention for 90 minutes but I would say that this film is not what it says on a tin and normally I go it definitely does what it says on a tin if you look up the genre what this is meant to be is romantic comedy um, I, I don't I don't get that at all I think that is misleading it's a drum drama journey about two broken people and how they have to try and fix themselves along this journey trying to come sort trying to come to some sort of healing and that's where the dialogue kind of journeys these characters and that's where the film focuses on is this this dialogue heavy heavy film so as I was saying you need two actors that can hold your attention and I would say for the most part they do and for the most part the dialogue is interesting mostly because at the beginning of the film you obviously have no idea but you kind of see these two very opposite people kind of thrust into a 14 hour journey together and they kind of have to be there with each other and as you see the film develop you get to know what makes these people tick why they are broken what three uh, what relationships have done to them in the past there is some romance to, ha to be had very little and I would say when it does get to the romance stuff I didn't quite believe it mostly because of how broken these people are and I would say that at the end of this film I felt like they definitely needed to go to some therapy and sort out their stuff before they inflict their own kind of nonsense and their baggage on another relationship that's just my two cents from the dialogue and from what you get to know from these people they're like yeah okay you guys need to see some people the film itself looks okay there aren't very many varying shots there's only so much you can do with two characters in a um, carriage and I would say for the most shot they are creative as they can be so shots through with glasses uh, shots uh, at longer distance when they're sitting at a different table you know various different shots of phones and you know as creative as they can be but there isn't a lot uh, that they can do with it so I would say if you're expecting any sort of action or a fast-paced film it's not that it is a drama and journey story where people need to figure out uh, who they are and I would say it's also not comedy at all I didn't laugh once during this not one peep there was there was a montage that was uh, sweet and the film itself is broken up into segments um, uh, part one part two part three part four that kind of stuff uh, but there's no comedy in that when they're dancing it's not funny it's more uh, t more leaning on the romantic drama sort of side um, so uh, my mind does kind of boggle going well, why would you even call this a romantic drama I um, a romantic comedy it's not that it's more romantic drama although more drama <laughs> I think some may struggle with this film even though it's quite a short film 90 minutes it does take its time I did clock watch from about 50 minutes in where I thought I was sure that the film was coming to an end I thought oh they can't drag this out anymore they're gonna get to their destination and then the story's gonna come to that fruition and when I saw I had another 40 minutes to go I thought oh wow okay 
uh, this is dragging for me a lot. Even though I thought the actors did a good job with what they had, there were some interesting editing techniques from the use of music to transitioning into the real world to make you feel it like it's more established, like you're there with them. So I, I liked some of the creativity there. I have to say though, this is definitely one that you're gonna need to concentrate on because you're gonna have to read. If you don't speak the language, then you're gonna have to read the subtitles because there are no dubbing. There is no dubbing for this at the moment. I wish I could speak English properly. There are no dubbing. Ugh. There is no dubbing for this at the moment. Maybe that'll come later, but I didn't see a message saying they're going to do dubbing. So, um, yeah, I felt that was the only thing that really kept me to it because I had to read. So I had to find out what was happening uh, in the film that way. When you get to the end, there is a sort of, oh, that's that's quite nice. Um, but I didn't love it. I've seen films like this done better if that makes sense there's so many genre films like this the kind of the journey where the characters need to grow a little bit uh but um that's not to say there isn't enjoyment to be had yet i just felt it was very dry very sparse uh but the characters and the actors uh, were well written well acted and the dialogue was pretty decent I, I quite liked the story but um definitely not a romantic comedy if that's what you're expecting so i'm going to give this a c uh, down the middle line. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this. Do check out our other reviews that we've got coming uh, this week. Lots of new content, lots of different stuff. We're trying out some new things. I hope everybody is well and safe from COVID and you eventually are able now to get out a bit with your masks. Uh, do chat to me in the comments below. Have you heard of this? Are you looking forward to it? Uh, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.